It is the longest running weekly episodic television series in history. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 403 pounds, Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio, the legends. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And their opponents first from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, J.B. Hell. Now here's JBL, a Triple Crown champion. He's held the WWE title, Intercontinental title, and U.S. title. He's a member of the WWE Hall of Fame and a bona fide wrestling god. Hey, guys, have I ever told you that JBL is a really good friend of mine? That's a lie, Byron. One of the best brawlers in WWE history. Hey, Corey, you think JBL will pay the medical facility bills for his opposition tonight? from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler! Can you believe that Jerry Lawler has been competing in the ring for over 50 years? Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. The King has been a master in the ring and at the commentary table. And even after all those years, King still has tricks up his sleeve and under his crown. Maybe you can borrow his crown to cover that bald spot. What are you talking about, Corey? 50 years in the ring and the King still has better hair than you. That's debatable. Dozens of championships won in Memphis before he joined WWE. He is certainly one of the all-time greats. Hey, King. The flying fist drop. It was actually an honor of mine, Corey, to be able to have uh, been hit in the mouth by the flying fist drop at one point in my career. Well, the King looks ready to deliver a royal beating. Maybe to you again, Michael. Well, maybe to Cole, but King won't let you near his crown, Saxton. Oh, man. Tag team action underway with Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. 
Mysterio. And across the ring we see JBL and Jerry Lawler. And communication for these teams is going to be key in this one. A complete focus on teamwork is the only way to win. He has a hold of JBL. of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Satellite DDT. Carefully measuring their opponent. Oh, basement drop kick. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. from Rey Mysterio, and Mysterio is up. From the top. All the way up, and wow, what a unique counter. They get time to dial it up. Six, five, nine. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. Looking for more damage here. Oh, at least back suplex. 
He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Set him up. It could be time for the triple verticals. Spin those hips, Eddie. There's number two. And here comes. Superstars in action in that tag team battle. Here are your winners, Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio, the legends. And these two really do make the perfect pair. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight.
the most lethal superstar in the history of WWE, the Apex Predator, the Viper is here. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper. generation superstar the viper possesses greatness coursing through his veins and despite his family legacy randy orton has forged a path of his own as one of wwe's top superstars of all time as our good friend jbl often says if you were to build a superstar from the ground up it would look like randy orton Such an impressive array of in-ring skills possessed by the Viper. All Randy Orton needs is one RKO to end your evening. Well, Byron, I guarantee you Orton's going to show us tonight that he's much more than that. Yeah, Randy Orton is an SOB. every time he competes. The right, uh, flaps are off, and that means Riddle is ready. We're about to see a grappling clinic. WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Contest here with Thornton and Riddle. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Chad Gable and Otis. Hard to the side. What team has the advantage here? It'll probably come down to who can cut the ring in half the best. Who can control the pace? Kick. Perfect drop kick. Okay, already we get it. 
stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Oh, it is aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Counters the Viper's attack. Tag is registered. Here comes the self-proclaimed juvenile delinquent. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. WWE is her passion. Used to wrestle with her brothers in their New Jersey backyard. Well, Liv Morgan has come a long way from those backyard competitions. One of the brightest stars in WWE's women's division. Uh, guys, I guess we can say welcome to Alexa's playground. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss! Corey, I got some breaking news. Alexa actually wants Byron as a guest on Alexa's playground tonight. Oh, thank God, I thought she'd never ask. Uh, guys, actually, I have a dinner date with my mom. I, I won't be available. And Saxton isn't the only person crying for their mommy on the arrival of Alexa Bliss. Byron, is the old Alexa still in there? I mean, I'm kind of wondering, but I don't really want to find out myself. And she seems happy. And she's also about to turn the ring into her own personal playground. What a dark path she seems to have gone down. If anything, Cole, Bliss is transcendent. At times, her methods of madness seem supernatural, making her even more dangerous. Bliss's unpredictability is going to certainly make her a near impossible competitor to predict. But across the way is a superstar absolutely brimming with potential, Liv Morgan. Liv has every tool she needs to be a top talent here in WWE. And with every match, we see her becoming stronger and more impressive competitor. I completely agree with that assessment, Corey. Liv's unique creativity in the ring makes her fun to watch, and you really can't help but think that the sky is the limit for her. Ooh. Corey, what can you tell us about the transformation of Alexa Bliss? Bliss seems like she's been more focused on inflicting pain and punishment than getting the win. While her abilities have improved, I feel like she's lost sight of her goals. Oh, Relax. 
relentless. Enough already. Punch! Oh, just in case the first you didn't hurt, there's another. Alexa gets reversed. Alexa's over the takedown. Oh, God. To the jaw. Uh, quite an effective counter. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Attack to the midsection. From the middle rope. Splash. Jarring impact. She's starting to tire a little. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Okay, this just got freaky. This got really freaky. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Sunset bomb! Somehow breaks the count immediately. I can't believe the ref didn't even get to one. Breathtaking head scissor takedown. Superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the time can shift at any moment. She's into the ring again. Six. Six. Count of baby imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Got to find a way to get out of this. Ooh. 
This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Eight. Gets inside the ring. Looking to take flight here. From the top. Look out the And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Being carried around with ease. Uh-oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Three. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Face first into the barricade. Extraordinary offense from Morgan. Look at Liv go. So determined. And now she's looking to go sideways. Here we go. You got to be kidding me. It doesn't matter. Side of the ring, there is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh my goodness, face right in the barricade. Great counter by Alexa. Alexa might be able to start mounting something here. She's trying to fight back in this one. This match is wearing her down. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Every person in this capacity crowd is on their feet. And with good reason. These superstars are earning all of their respect. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. Oh. Running clothesline. Oh. In front of this team. Oh. How much more can they endure? in that one. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Liv Morgan! That'll do it in a 
It's Liv Morgan ending the night with her hand raised. She came into this match with one thing on her mind. And would you look at that? It came to fruition. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxon, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, the hardcore champion, Seth Rollins! So he's been called the Kingslayer, right? The architect, the messiah. How about we give him a new nickname, Mr. Delusional? <laughs> oh, bite your, bite your tongue, Cole. There is nothing delusional about this man. Seth Rollins has earned everything. It just happens that everyone else is jealous. Multiple Universal and WWE title reigns. He's won the Royal Rumble and money in the bank. You know, there was a time when Seth Rollins used to feed off the energy of the WWE Universe. Now he's just happy celebrating all of his accomplishments alone. One of the most powerful competitors in WWE. And his opponent from live Oak, Florida, weighing in at 270 pounds. Titus O'Neal! I have to admit, Corey, he's a great manager, competitor, and even a philanthropist. Listen, Titus is as smart as they come, but he's also oh, twice yeah. as strong as anybody you've probably ever met. I mean, he's unbelievably yeah. talented in the ring. Really gives the University of Florida a, a really good name, unlike others. He's talking about you, Saxton. I know subtlety is not something they teach at the U of M. Yeah, I get it. Recently, Seth Rollins has become increasingly temperamental, lashing out at the WWE Universe with his words and lashing out at his fellow superstars with his fists. Seth can't stand to feel disrespected, and the moment he feels slighted, he's out for revenge. We've seen him do some heinous things to those that have dared to stand up to him. Yeah, Rollins is quick to discipline anyone he feels has stepped out of line, always teaching some twisted lesson in respect. And he's standing across the ring from Titus O'Neil. Since Titus made it to the ring without sliding under the apron, we can safely say he is one of the most powerful opponents you could ever draw in the ring. Titus' strength among superstars is absolutely legendary. If he leans too much into his power, there's no denying that strategy has served him well in the past. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Nasty right hand into Gary to the floor. He heads outside, counts legal in this match. Two. Bad predicament right here. This could be big, going up high. If this lands, it's over. Just crashing down with high impact. Whoa. This crowd is truly unworthy of his incredible magnificence. Two. Yeah. And he scores a reverse. 
reversal on Rollins. Each superstar trying to stay a step Three. ahead. Corey, when you're going up against a top flight talent like Seth Rollins, what's the key to finding victory? When it comes to Seth Rollins, I think you have to put the pressure on early and keep it on. Six. Any chance you give Rollins in this match. From the top. Whoa, whoa, landed. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Uh-oh. We're on the table. They're going to take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? Two. They're thinking about the end, finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Bad predicament right here. Three. Yeah. Oh. He gets back into the ring. Sent off from the apron. Oh. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh. Tough position to be caught in here. Two. Oh, strong impact. He's looking a little weary now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar yeah. exposes themselves to. Oh, and Titus O'Neil turns the tables. Three. Rollins got out of the way. His knee. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. DDT. Look out. Stop. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. Titus O'Neil established. Rollins escaping danger. That's gotta be it. Rope break. Pin stops. This is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. Oh, caught him. Uh oh. Uh oh. No way. No way. That shows how Rollins can put you down. Just try standing up to him now.
Recently, Seth Rollins has become increasingly temperamental, lashing out at the WWE Universe with his words and lashing out at his fellow superstars with his fists. Seth can't stand to feel disrespected, and the moment he feels slighted, he's up for revenge. We've seen him do some heinous things to those that have dared to stand up to him. Yeah, Rollins is quick to discipline anyone. He feels has stepped out of line, always teaching some twisted lesson in respect. And he's standing across the ring from Titus O'Neil. Since Titus made it to the ring without sliding under the apron, we can safely say he is one of the most powerful opponents you could ever draw in the ring. Titus' strength among superstars is absolutely legendary. If he leans too much into his power, there's no denying that strategy has served him well in the past. Boom! Boom! Persistent barrage! Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, oh, makes the cover. One. No, he kicks out. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Oh. Titus struggling to defend himself. And Rollins is on the wall, gentlemen. You know, Seth Rollins has battled it out with many legendary opponents and won more than his fair share of accolades. You have to think that gives him something of an edge in this matchup, right? Oh, not a doubt. Seth walks in the door with an instant advantage in the form of his in-ring experience. The more Seth puts that wisdom to work in this match, the easier it'll be for him to find opportunities to attack. But once he gets going, it's hard to defend against a savvy competitor like Rollins. Titus O'Neil is bleeding profusely now. Oh, and Titus O'Neil turns the tables. Ooh, kick right to the gut. Rollins just a step too slow. Just like that, Rollins dodges. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. You can tell Seth is calling on all his in-ring wisdom, finding a big opportunity to attack there. Look back at that amazing action. was as one-sided as it gets.
Yes, Byron. Big E's on Raw. Time to hop aboard the positivity bus, gentlemen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Wait a Big second. Man. What's he doing? E. He's creating his own advantage, Cole. Uh, we don't know that yet, Corey. As Corey can attest to, Big E's known to have a whoa jump start in the action. That is some fun sportsman like Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Had it up, he's thinking back. If this lands, it's over. Good lord, taking flight. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Corey Biggie is such an imposing presence, something that can weigh heavily on an opponent's mind. So what do you think the key is to really take the fight to it? For as intense and powerful as he can be, Big E has a tendency to get lost in the power of positivity or whatever you want to call it. And that can cost him at the absolute worst moment. If he loses that focus, it could be trouble. And this one is over. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar! The Beast! The Beast, the Conqueror, the Mayor of Suplex City, Brock Lesnar has earned every nickname bestowed upon him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world, gracing WWE with his presence. Someone's gonna take a trip to Suplex City. Yeah, that's almost guaranteed. Brock Lesnar is ready for a fight. Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. We await the appearance of the sinister, multi-time NXT champion, a competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is, Karrion Cross.
few words, Brock Lesnar prefers to let his actions do the talking. Some superstars may talk more on the microphone, but when it comes to trading blows, Lesnar may be unequaled. But tonight, he's taking on an incredibly driven carrying cross. The superstar who seems to be fueled by an endless supply of extreme rage and an insatiable appetite for destruction. This man is not your average competitor. Well spoken, Saxton. Cross is an absolute terror in the ring who doesn't put any limits on his attacks or his ambitions. He'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. And tonight, he wants to destroy. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. career not many superstars have found success in the ring against him what could be the key to beating him here well it's easier said than done but you have to slowly chip away at lesnar the beast isn't someone you put away with just one big attack you have to drag this out whittle him down play a more patient game oh look at this look at the suplex off the top oh, oh, oh. take all the wind out of you fires back and he's taking this to the outside now up goes cross Whoa. from the top yeah. top and down can he do it here we got a break. he's begging him to get up so he can put him back down show here's another look here is your winner Karrion Cross what an emphatic victory guys no contest an absolute statement by the victor here tonight what a steamrolling Now the nightmare is real. 
Rash, bold, and unashamed. Brutality has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. One of the most powerful women in all of WWE set a new standard of brutality in her match against Tony Storm at NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool. She became the first ever NXT UK Women's Champion. Sent a message to the entire world in the 2017 and 2018 May Young Classic tournaments. The future is iconic. And accompanied by Billy Kay, representing the Iconics from Sydney, Australia, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Peyton Royce. They may or may not be two of my most trusted sources. Well, I believe that. Two ladies who have known each other since high school in Sydney, Australia, now causing havoc and dismay. And goodness gracious, they do great impressions. They're horrible. This is iconic. The Australian duo have taken WWE by storm and show no signs of slowing down. Peyton Royce here doesn't want to be looked over anymore. Clearly poised and prepared for action. Peyton definitely carries herself with grace and elegance, Michael, but once the bell rings and the match gets going, well, let's just say a less graceful and elegant temperament tends to take over. She can certainly be a volatile competitor with quite the main strength when the mood strikes. But across the ring is any superstar's nightmare. Rhea Ripley, a competitor with a remarkable strength and a mean streak to match it. Overcoming Ripley's incredible talents and brutal tactics tonight, it's going to be a tall order. That could be it. Quick shoulder up, keeping a loss at bay for now. Firm control. Oh, <laughs> foot, meet face. On uh, Royce with a counter. Ooh, what a four club. I've noticed Rhea Ripley likes to get right down to business in the ring. How do you compete against someone who likes to come out swinging and control the tempo of the match? Well, you have to come out swinging just as hard, if not harder. Matching Ripley blow for blow might be the only way to convince her that you're a serious threat. Up and over. Going way up high. First up top. Whoa, look out. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Ripley in a surprising bit of danger. What tenacity from Ripley's opposition. Not letting Rhea take control of this match and make it a one-sided fight. Four. Five. Royce looking for the high-risk moves. Up high. Three cross body. Going all cost into the win. Ripley's strength being nullified with moves like that. Yeah, as Peyton delivered on that mean streak of hers. Ripley is square in her sights, extremely vulnerable. And Royce is looking to end this right here, right now! That could be curtains for Ripley! Thank <laughs> you. 
Split leg drop. Is it an off one? The cover two. Three. And that'll about do it, folks. No, oh, look at I don't think they're done, Corey. I don't think they're done. No, they're absolutely done. Oh, no, not, not with the done. chair. Come on, put that damn thing down. They're going to finish what they started. Oh, come on, get out of there. Somebody do something about this. This is not going to end well. Oh, thank God. Thank God. But I don't think this thing's over. Not by a long shot.